This is Dr. Spitz. No, thank you. There were three uh, that were missing. So uh, there was a question on one. They sent in an MRI that showed an email of the sacroiliac joint. And then it raised the question of sacroiliitis, which if it's on or that was arthritis. And then it was missing pelvic x-ray to exclude the pathology. You didn't confirm arthritis. And then finally the device needed to be tightening the triangle. Yeah, so, that's, so I'm using the titanium triangular. It's minimally invasive. I do not think she has sacroiliitis. Your conclusion was that the edema was arthritic in nature. Correct. On the left side there. Okay. And then the x-ray of the pelvis? Yeah, did not show any issues with the um, acetabulum or hip joint. You can always order another one. If you can get the pelvic x-ray, what that would just need to do is exclude hip pathology. So you have about three weeks where if they get the additional information in, they can just open it for a post-period period reconsideration, meaning they can just get the x-ray in it. And, uh, and that would be the last piece of the puzzle. Okay. Does it need to be both hips? Just a... No, just a, an AP pelvis that shows the hip. AP pelvis, okay. All right, I okay. appreciate it. Right. Thank Thanks you. Thanks for your time. Have a good one. Take care. Bye-bye. He was reasonable. They're not all that good, so at least there's that. But, you know, it's just more things that we have to do, more boxes to check, so... You know, just more delays in care, but at least it's not the, the peers' fault, it's the insurance company's fault.